And I am honored to welcome back to our program one of the most brilliant documentarians in the United States, activist, filmmaker, and founder of Brave New Films, bravenewfilms.org, Robert Greenwald. Robert, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Tom. It's wonderful to be with you. It's great to have you with us. I understand you have a new project. Yes, we have a new investigative video that we launched uh, this morning, Koch Brothers, part of our Koch Brothers Exposed, and this particular one is the result of over three months of work by Jeff and Natalie and Joseph. They really dug in and found this small community in Arkansas, small African-American poor community, that literally, not figuratively, literally the people are dying and have died of cancer as a direct result of the Koch's Georgia Pacific plant, which is spewing stuff into the environment, into the streams, and uh, it's a heartbreaking story, Tom, and what we try to do is, you of course know better than almost anyone, we try to put a personal face on policy because, you know, all too often these debates become abstract and they become seemingly unconnected to people's lives. Well, here we have people who are literally paying a price with cancer because of the ideology, the greed, and the money corruption of the Koch brothers. Amazing. I uh, I get the Republican talking points every day, as as uh, most talk show hosts do. And My condolences. I, I can I can I can predict every morning what Sean Hannity is going to say on his show, uh, almost word for word. And uh, the one that I got yesterday, the top talking point was uh, regulations are are uh, prevent excessive government regulations are preventing job creators from creating more jobs, and. I'm wondering if there might be a connection between that Republican talking point, which has become uh, so pervasive that I can't put a conservative on this show without them quoting it almost verbatim over and over and over again. Been so for about five months now, I would say. Between that and the efforts of the Koch brothers, whose companies, uh, if the EPA were to get a little more aggressive, might not be, uh, according to your investigation, uh, causing the death of people downwind in Georgia or well, Alabama, think, wherever that was. Alabama, yeah, Arkansas. Actually. Arkansas, thank you. Um, um, I think that's exactly right. I think that the Koch's ideology serves their profit motive, which is no regulations, or I prefer to call them no protections for people, and therefore allowing their capitalism to run wild and to take advantage of people to take advantage of people who don't have the money, don't have the power, and don't have the access. And talking about the jobs in the abstract allows the right wing to really take the issue away. But as we're seeing with the Occupy folks right now, the Cokes are the 1%. These are the 1% who are controlling, distorting our democracy, and using their money in the worst way to buy off politicians and to weaken any kind of protection for people. And so you're, uh, we're talking with Robert Greenwald, the filmmaker, political activist, founder of Brave New Films. Uh, is it bravenewfilms.org? Is that where people should go to see the Koch Brothers well, Exposed, or do you have a separate website? Uh, we have a website, kochbrothersexposed.com. Uh, we also have a Facebook page, and also you can follow me on Twitter, where we're posting the most recent uh, investigations and articles and all kinds of things that come about. Uh, as a result of what we're finding. And, you know, these investigations, Tom, take a lot of time and energy, but now we look to you and the listeners and the viewers to help us spread the word. And and support your efforts. Let me put that plug in. You're, uh, you're uh, 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 humble or gracious enough not to uh, to say that, but I will right up front that people should not, not only watch what you're doing, but support it financially, bravenewfilms.org. And uh, I'm, I'm curious, Robert... I have said things on the air about the Koch brothers and gotten emails from either David or Charles, I forget which one, uh, personal secretary, saying uh, that fact was wrong. Here's the correct fact. <laughs> and, and the first time it happened, I was like, whoa, what's yeah. this? I'm wondering if you've heard, as a result of your investigation of the Koch brothers, if you've heard from them. Well, we've heard from them when we did our previous pieces. We did the piece on showing how they were literally not figuratively resegregating schools as a result of their ideological campaign we heard from them on our social security video i'm sure we'll be hearing from them here and they've threatened their bullies they say they're going to take legal action 
on the resegregation video, I don't know if you got one of those letters where they were saying, if you even talk about this, we're going to turn it over to our lawyers. But of course it was all bluff, because they may not be aware of this, but there are some free speech protections that exist in this country, and there are some folks like yourself and others who can't be bought off. And I'm sure they will threaten us, I'm sure they will be furious, because again, they try to pretend that this libertarian ideology and that this profit motive is just doing some kind of general good. But here you see people, they're coughing, they have respirators, and they are saying, the Cokes are killing me. The Cokes, our Georgia Pacific plant is helping take away my life. And that's, as I think, as powerful and as strong as it gets. And it's also what I'm proud of that, again, the folks, this, the amazing, brilliant staff at Brave New Foundation is able to do this research and show people a human face because it's the human faces that ultimately move us to take the most action. There you go. Absolutely. So well said. Robert Greenwald, BraveNewFilms.org, and Koch, Koch Brother, K-O-C-H Brothers Exposed dot, what is it? Dot com. Dot com. Thank you, Robert. Thank, Thank you. Thanks so much for being with us. 